Friday. And as I've been doing recently, I haven't been giving out viewer shout outs, but more product and service shout outs. So like a while back I did for Mr. Football's channel and then I did for Sisu mouth guards to get mouth guards. So this week I'm doing, there's a company called Human Kinetics and it's right here. There's a link below in the description. Last Christmas, so December 2016, I got this book from my sister-in-law. It was on my Amazon wish list for a while and if you guys have been following my Instagram for a long time, you'll see that I got complete linebacking and I put it right next to the bed. It was sitting on that shelf right there. I would pick it up and I'd open it up and I would read like fundamentals. Here's chapter three, hit and shed. And I'd go through hit and shed and I'd read everything, every word, reference the diagrams that they reference. It's like a textbook. You know, four quarter drill, all the, in, the, in the back of each section there's a little drill and then get onto pursuit and I put the book down. Only deal with hit and shed. Next night, took me a while to read the book. I mean, there's 22 chapters in this book uh, with five parts. Part five is more, you're a coach and you wanna teach and figure out how to grade linebackers. That's how that helps. This book will help everybody. From beginner, like me, I didn't know much about being a linebacker, to college level and into the NFL because this teaches you how to formulate things and learn how to evolve with the position. And this is written by Lou Tepper. Um, I'm going to read the back here for you guys. It says, learn from a legend, Lou Tepper, coach up to more than 20 NFL linebackers, including three Butkus Award winners, has created the most in-depth book ever written on football's most important defensive position. In complete linebacking, players and coaches receive a clinic on fundamentals, pre-snap keys, and techniques used by inside and outside linebackers in specific defenses, including the 32, 31, 52, 51, and 33. Coverage includes four key linebacker diagnostic tests, that's in the back, 40 drills to improve linebacking skills, pre-snap communication, relaying defense signals from the sideline, and special practice and game grading systems to evaluate and maximize performance. Again, that last part is more in the back of the book. The authoritative guide on playing the position, complete linebacking is a must have for any linebacker, head coach, or defensive coach in today's fast paced, ever evolving game. This isn't the only book created by this company. There's complete wide receiver, complete quarterbacking, complete running back, and offensive line. I haven't checked if there are other books yet, as I've only added these five to my Amazon shop. It's an influencer shop, so if I find things on Amazon that I think is great, that other people might wanna buy, I put it on my influencer page. Now, all these books are on there. Currently, complete quarterbacking is out of stock. You can buy it used, I think I saw it for like six bucks, but again, it's used. There might be markings in it, it could be torn a little bit, but it might come back in stock later or just check out Human Kinetics website. The shop is like amazon.com slash shop slash dashrick. There's a link below also to that shop in case you, you know, wanna add one of these books to your cart. The forward is written by Khalil Mack and this thing teaches, like I said, teaches you just the absolute basics. Part of the thing that it helps with that I actually liked was talking about like the linebacker profile, that it talks about not the, the physical qualities of a linebacker and that why bigger is better is not always better. So that's what you think. You want a linebacker to be big, but what, you know, so they can stuff a hole pretty well, might be better as a middle linebacker, but as an outside linebacker, you may want to be pretty fast, pretty agile. And like one of the examples here is you got a 320 pound offensive lineman. Do you fear a 240 pound linebacker? 260 pound linebacker? No, if you're that big as an offensive lineman, what do you fear? speed. You're lighter, you're quicker, you got better agility. That's why guys like me can play the position. Well, I'm only like 210 and I'm 5'11". And then there's a the whole section on the intangibles, the stuff that goes on in your brain. It tells you the things that at least Lou Tepper looks for in a linebacker, so maybe you can help improve those in yourself if you're trying to be a linebacker. I'm taking a while to guess that the other books have very similar sections, such as I, I think wide receiver would have stuff on like how to disguise your routes. So I'm pulling up complete wide receiver from my shop. And this thing here from Amazon says, from catching to securing the ball to fighting through contact and adjusting to defensive schemes and developing the quickness and superior agility necessary for precise route running. Have people told you you don't run crisp routes? You got some trips on how. What's a good thing about a book? First of all, you can take that with you into class 
You can take it with you at lunch. You can read it at night and not have to worry about being distracted by all your social media on your phone. I'm guilty of that one. Try to watch YouTube videos and then I get a Snapchat notification and suddenly I'm not watching a video anymore because I'm trying to figure out what Willie sent me on Snapchat about his dog being goofy and then I'm distracted and I want to watch goofy pit bull videos. See how that happens? Whereas if you're just reading a book in your room with a light on, you get through like the entire alley section and then see all the diagrams for it without necessarily getting distracted. Because you can take your phone, put it over there. Set a little timer in your head. I'm gonna finish one of those chapters before I touch my phone. So one of the things that this book helped me initially before I started actually training on the field as a linebacker is relative techniques, which is in part four, linebacker technique terminology. I was a corner. I didn't know the holes. I mean, the moment I read and oh, and it was like January 2017, right after Christmas, I was reading this, I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Like I just, but I never, nobody ever told me, they never used the terms because we're corner, we're a safety, we're not dealing with the holes. Other things it shows is like a 32 technique and it's got a bunch of stuff. It's got various things in here about inside linebackers. It talks for outside linebackers and having versatility is great. This book's really helped me. So you can go online and you can watch a YouTube video and the ones that I've seen for defensive back are like really windy and the coach is hard to hear and you know, some of the guys are not necessarily performing the drill well. Like right here, you can do a box drill. Shows you exactly how to set it up. You know, this book's written from a coach's point of view. And so if you're JV, and you want to get better at any of the positions I listed before, maybe pick up one of your books. Because even if you are the best in JV, and you're going to go on and be the best in varsity, why not be better? And I think in the quarterbacking book, it'll give you all those little things to read. All the little things that you're going to, that you would notice checking the line. Does your coach teach you that one? Probably. But high school coaches, vast majority of them, didn't really go on and play in college. And if they did, it probably wasn't you know, super duper college. I know the coach when I was in high school was the US history teacher and PE teacher. Uh, and he was also the football coach. He was a good football coach. The team won games, went to the playoffs, but like Lou Tepper, he, he, he's coached guys that went on to the NFL. I don't think the guy at Evergreen coached guys that went on to the NFL. I don't know anybody from Evergreen High School that's went on to the NFL. I mean, that's my question. That's the question. Anybody from your school, from your current coach that's gone on to the NFL? I mean, maybe that'll be you. So this is, you know, you want one of the top end coaches. If you want to be the best, learn from the best. And these guys, as you'll read in their, as you read up about who these coaches are and who wrote these books, right here, it says, Lou Tepper's knowledge and ability to teach and coach the linebacker position are outstanding. He's considered one of the best at any level. Sean Payton, head coach in the New Orleans Saints. This book, just to let you know, this isn't an old book. This is the second edition and was put out in 2014. To be fair, this book is already four years old, but again, it originally came out in 1998 and he rewrote for other stuff in 2014. And if you're like, you know, super curious, I've got the About the Author. You know, it says Lou Tepper brings more than 45 years of experience as a college coach to complete linebacking. 45 years as a college coach. Why not learn from the best? That's what I've got for that one. There are links below for my Amazon influencer shop, as well as the Human Kinetics website. So that's what's going on there. And I will chat with you guys next week. We are going into pads tomorrow. So we're probably going to talk about shoulder pads next week. Figure out how that goes on. Why not? I'll catch you guys later. Bye.